Yo guys, it's Joe. You know what it is. You know how we do. And welcome back to another reaction video. Here today we will jubilee. Am I a sociopath? Ask me anything. This is one of the series they have. And you know, what? there's nothing more to say. It's a jubilee reaction video. Leave a like if you like these sort of videos. I should have had a cut video that's out. If it's not out, it will be coming out. Let's get into it. Everything changes. Hopefully you can hear me. Turn down a little bit. How can I know that you're being honest with me and did you lie to any of us? I don't think I've lied to anybody. I guess I could be lying to you. If you Damn. were alone in a room with a diagnosed sociopath, what would you ask? What would you oh, ask? You hold on, hold on, hold on. What does empathy... Diagnose sociopath. What is a sociopath? In my head, a sociopath is someone who's pretty open, like they can't... A psychopath can get along in society, but they can do things very secretively. Whereas a sociopath is more, like, open, can't really get into, like, the flow of society as much, because they... I'll I, I put the definition, but I'm pretty sure it's along the lines. Or there are someone who is unable to empathise uh, you know, it, it's, it's that sort of thing. Unable to empathize, unable to sympathize, can't really, you know, understand. They're just blunt. They're blunt straight to a point, I'm pretty sure. And the psychopath is, they are essentially the same, but they're able to blend into society a lot a lot better. And that's what makes it psychopathic because they can, they, they're like aware of what they're doing, you know. So, what would I ask for a sociopath? Like, what does it mean to you to be a sociopath? Like, like what, how, because it's, I feel like I, I, I wouldn't really like empathy or being able to see those different perspectives is something that I try to do actively. I try to always think of how somebody's feeling. Huh? And I, I don't know if, you know, without feeling anything, I can say, yes, I'm heartless. Or you can say you're heartless or you feel, but you will always feel something. But to ask a, a sociopath, what does it mean to you to be a sociopath? Or how does it feel being a, something along them lines is what I would ask, I reckon. But let's go, let's go. Look like for you. Have you ever felt guilt? That's it. Like a complicated question. Mm. How you doing? Pretty good. Okay, that's good. What's your name? Greg. All right, Greg. nice to meet you. Greg nice just says you. What age were you diagnosed? I think I was around 21, 22. How old are you? I am 33. 33. Well, what's your we're not definition of a sociopath? That's a sociopath it. Sociopath to me is someone who has no regard for. So, a person with a personality disorder manifesting itself in extreme antisocial attitudes and behavior and a lack of conscience. So, you, yeah, yeah, like you're not, yeah, that's, I've, oh, that's pretty, pretty close, that's pretty close. Yeah, antisocial, you can't really get in, like, get into the flow of society, that sort of thing. All right. For themselves or for other people. A sociopath to me is someone who has no regard for themselves or for other people. You're mm. very impulsive, very irresponsible. Mm. Reckless, basically like a child. Yeah, Were right. you surprised when you got diagnosed? I don't think surprised is the right word. I think relieved. Like I um. had felt out of control and I didn't understand why I was doing what I was doing for a long time. So That's interesting. Relieved. I, I can imagine it's like when you think you're crazy, but you're like, you don't know until it's said, you don't really know. Like I'm having an issue with my ear at the minute. Like, it's blocked, and I keep trying to, like, do, like, you know, when you hold your nose and you blow, and then it pops, but it's, it doesn't, it, it's popping, but it's not really popping. And I'm here, like, am I, is there an issue? I'm going to get, I've got, I've got it booked. I'm, like, thinking, if they tell me something's wrong, then it's relieving, it is. It's a relief. It's like, I'm not going crazy. This is something that's happened, and they've said, yes, this has happened. It's like, I guess, you know, it confirms what I was already thinking, so I can see where he's coming from. So knowing that there was an actual reason behind why I was doing these things, it was really like kind of freeing in a way. What made you think he was a sociopath? Waking up in prison was probably my first clue. Do you mind me asking what led you to go to prison? I've c committed several crimes. Mm -hmm. I was using drugs and selling to support my habit. Yeah. I also have many like retail thefts. How long ago did you commit those crimes? The last time I committed any crimes was 2011. Uh, and then you uh, haven't we'll committed any crimes since then? 
I wouldn't say I haven't committed any crimes. I haven't committed any major crimes since then. Mm. And actually, I don't even drive recklessly anymore like I used to. I stopped stealing. And now that I say it, I don't know if I've been doing crimes. <laughs> I think I changed my ways. What made you make the oh, decision that's to nice. change your life? Not wanting to go back to prison. It was one of the worst experiences of my life. Hmm. What do you think people most... You, I mean, you must have been through a lot for that to be one of the most... Uh, good prison... I've never been to prison. Obviously, I can see the depictions of movies and uh, series of how it is to be in prison. Documentaries, obviously. But I feel like I feel like you're not gonna go to prison and be like, yes, yes is nice. So I said one of the worst experiences. Uh, wouldn't it be the worst experience? But clearly, you've been through a lot in your life, so it's one. It's one of them ones as well. Often misunderstand about being a sociopath. Personally, I think that the stereotype is that they're incredibly violent and just malicious just to be mean yeah. and like just for its own sake at least for me that's not how that's not what it, is. it, it presents more often than not people with antisocial personality disorder or sociopaths they're just irresponsible impulsive people that can lead to you being a little bit aggressive and irritable but the myth that they're violent and just out of control monsters is blown way out of proportion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel Have that. Have you ever manipulated someone to benefit you? Yeah, of course. I feel like everyone Does manipulates this. other people to an extent. We're all trying to get something out of any given relationship. Okay. I haven't really thought of it that way. For me, it's more like mutual respect and wanting to do others for people to make them feel better. Yeah, I see, I see what you mean. Um, I look at all of my relationships as very transactional. Uh, it, it's fair. just kind of the way that I engage with the world. What? That's, that's an interesting one. He does have a point there in terms of when it does come to like relationships, obviously, depending on who you are and depending on how you are, it is all in a way transactional, you know. Some things you would do for the sake of, because, because of the respect of the other people, but like benefit yeah yes i would like them to have i would like them to be around i like them to help me you know i'd like to help them so i can see both sides i can see his side especially having uh, you know being a sociopath and seeing it that way but yeah you know, i it's, it's uh, i like this i like this there are some things that piss you off when people can't admit they're wrong or made a mistake that drives me cr absolutely crazy and i think that's just because i used to do that that same thing i used to not ever admit that i was wrong what does mm. empathy look like for you if you have empathy at all so i call it cognitive empathy it's just cognitive being empathy being able to see someone's perspective without engaging with their emotions and instead through a more rational and logical process ah I feel like that's what I I I I cognitive empathy, which makes sense and it could anger people if you don't see the emotion part of it, the emotional side of it. But it is a good thing to practice doing because you know emotions lead to you doing uh, things that you don't that aren't really logical or aren't really you don't they don't it 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 hinders it hinders it blinds you from what you should be doing you feel so um full of anger or um, overly emotional very you know to the point where you can't think properly you know you can't really think logically think rationally of the situation like this has happened this is what is the logical steps forward but because of emotion you feel angry oh I don't, why are you blame this person blame that person but you don't really think of ways to move forward. So I can, I, I see what, let's see what he talks about. Making sure that I put myself in someone else's shoes, like intentionally. My first response in any given situation is never empathy. It's usually some like logical, like solution to the problem. When a lot of the times that's not what people need. They need you to listen and just be there for them. Have you ever felt guilt mm. or remorse? Is that something that you feel? That, that's a, like a complicated question. So at the time, I, I, I didn't feel bad about anything that I did. I really didn't have a care in the world. Once I move on from it, like in my head, it's, mm, it's gone. It's over to yeah. me, which 
isn't great when you cheated on your partner and then they don't forget about that. Yeah. But I would. I regret it now because mm. I don't like that I put people through that and I don't like that I hurt them. But I feel you. that's now. That wasn't then. I wanted to ask you what your I was childhood good. was like. Progress. Part of the problem is like I don't store memories very well, so I don't necessarily remember much of my childhood. Is that a, a condition associated with being a sociopath? From what I've gathered, memories tied to emotion fairly strongly. Yeah. The way that I experience emotion emotion. is not quite as deep as other people. I so see. It makes sense. Emotional tie to like memories that makes them stick in your brain doesn't really happen for me that often. Did you Damn. tell your parents about your diagnosis right away? No, actually, I didn't. I, I've only actually mentioned it to my parents one like one time. When I told them, they didn't believe me. They're like, that's not the Greg I knew. And I guess it just speaks to how fooled I had them. They just yeah. didn't believe that I was capable of those things. Mm. Have you ever been in love? And do you feel love? I think so. Like, I, I, I do think. experience emotions and love and connection and closeness. It's just maybe not to the, the depth or like breadth of, of some other people. Oh. I'm very engaged. He's, he's really. It's, it's nice to hear like that side of the story and someone with um uh, so being a sociopath. It's it's nice to see that sort of side of the story, isn't it? Because we all are fixated, or we only, for the most part, see things through our own eyes and through our own experiences. And sometimes, when we are in a hard situation, it or, or, or a situation where you it's better to look at it through somebody else's eyes or see somebody else's perspective we choose our our own because that's our experience we've gone through we've gone through that experience so we can trust it a bit more and it's harder to be able to empathize with people a bit more so being able to hear it from an actual sociopath someone who was diagnosed with that it's able you know you can understand why people may be acting certain ways you might see something odd in public and be like oh that he's a weirdo why is he doing that but you don't really know what's happening cognitively you don't really know what's happening you know in their heads and it's uh, uh I, I could definitely say i can make jokes and you know make jokes and make comments and here here and there but overall i don't really judge I, i'm not really one to judge anybody i like to think i like to think you know this is all i always i'm always you can say very PC with the way I say it because even myself, it's like I'm trying to reflect up. I, 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 I do things, but only other people notice what I do. So I'd like to think I'm not too judgmental and I'd, I hope to not come across that way to criticise every little thing. But, you know, I can only be like, I hope I do that. It's only you who watches me and people around me watch me that can be like, oh, he is like that or he isn't like that. That's why I'm very... <laughs> tiptoeing with the ways I, I say something because it's like I don't know you know to say I'm a nice person I don't think I can say I'm a nice person I don't think anybody can say I'm a nice but like you are a nice person to fully embody being nice you know what I mean so it's, it's, it's hard with some things or uh, but moving away from the point yeah it's always nice to be able to see somebody else's side of the story, especially if it's a condition like this. Or be, I hope they do like one of with a psychopath or one of a um, like someone with uh, DID or something. You know, this disassociative identity disorder. So to be able to try and like see it a bit more, you know, see where 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 they're coming from. Who would you say is your favorite person in your life right now? Probably my son followed very shortly after that by my partner. He's one of the main reasons that I've gotten better. That's and your good. diagnosis hasn't affected your parenting in any way? Wanting to be the best dad I can for him is like a huge motivating factor for me because I, I don't want him to live the same life I've lived. There's a huge genetic component to sociopathy and the other half of that is your environment. So mm. I have to do everything I can with his environment to overcome his genetics. Yeah. How did um, you feel when you first met your wife? It's, it's, it's always been her, even though there was a, a period of time where I was really not a good boyfriend. I was not a good partner. Yeah. I don't deserve to still have her, but she stuck it out and knew that there was a person inside of 
that version of Greg that was better. Do you go to therapy? Oh, that's nice. I have gone to therapy in the past. At the time I was in prison, mm. I did have um, what's called a therapeutic community, and they do cognitive behavioral therapy. That's and good, that's when good. When I left prison, I didn't continue. Nowadays, uh. it's more like self-led. Like I, I do self-exploration, and with my partner, we, we kind of explore it. If something happens, she'll gently let me know. It feels it feels like an accusation, like you're doing something wrong. Uh, mm. I'll shut down. I don't like being told what to do. Yeah. So okay. a lot of the times, I don't know. I require gentle guidance. Is that you saying that you think like you've learned how to cope with being a sociopath? So the way I look at it is that I've learned how to not destroy my life by accident. I can manage to stop those thoughts and impulses impulses that's it yeah. come yeah. through come to come to fruition oh. that's that's an important uh, it's always a, a pro progression with it so if the fact that he's, he's able to come this far to be able to control his um impulses like that and uh, it, it comes with understanding first knowing that yes i am now associate i am a sociopath and then be able to notice the things that come along with it and he, you know with the child i'm sure that's a strong emotional connection and that's why it's um caused so much of a change especially with his um his partner as well so it's good to hear and i know that you're being honest with me and did you lie to any of us i don't think i've lied to anybody i guess i could be lying to you but it doesn't serve me to lie to, to you or to most people um, I'm here to like share my actual lived experience yeah. I'm not going to lie to you about it and if you'd like a chance to meet face to face and then we can do it nice. right. Greg you. Greg just says you're puff <laughs> I don't know if that's the best way <laughs> nice to meet you likewise hey how you Greg. Doing? hey man. nice to meet you Greg likewise I'm trying to put a face to you so that's cool it's a pretty face <laughs> <laughs> Those are great questions. Thank you. There we are. We spoke with. Uh, I say spoke. We listened to Greg, the sociopath. <laughs> I don't think that's the. I don't think I'm. <laughs> that's the right way to be addressing him. Greg, the sociopath. I don't mean it in a negative way, but I, I, I can hear the connotation. Yeah, it's just nice to be able to sit in somebody else's experience. You know, just trying to uh, see what they've experienced and the way they see. It. Obviously. Just like every person without any condition is different, every person with a condition. So all the sociopaths aren't going to be exactly the same. But you can at least take out bits of what it is for him to be a sociopath and link it to what other sociopaths may be thinking or doing or the, 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 you know things that they can't handle, why they might be odd in public, things like that. It allows you to see it a little bit. you know. And the more sociopaths you meet or the more psychopaths, the more people with DID or whoever, whatever condition, you can slowly be able to big, build a big, bigger picture, you know, of how it is and to not judge straight away and, uh, you know, have all these um, criticisms towards them, all, 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 all of these, you know, it, 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 you can think about it a little bit. But if you got this far in the video, leave a like or dislike if you didn't like my comment so my reactions or if i pause it too much i'm sorry in the moment i try to just say it how it is and i know sometimes i may pause it too much an eight minute video might become a 20 minute video just because i keep pausing it but hey, a reaction is a reaction as caesar once said uh he, he said he said it in the comment of one of the last ones and subscribe did i say subscribe subscribe man just uh, well, 108 subs at the moment um trying to get get it get it to 500 you know it's a nice aim and hopefully one day i'll get there but you're amazing it's the way life goes the jade's falling 80 here